As of September 2019, the government released a $1.25 billion program which helps first-time home buyers borrow money interest-free so that they can have lower monthly mortgage payments. Sounds like a no-brainer, right? Mm, think again. There are some conditions with that and I'm gonna talk about whether they are worth it for you or not so worth it. If you're self-employed or just a big fan of CBC's Dragon's Den, I'm gonna try and compare this first-time home buyer's incentive with what it's like to go on the show. Bear with me, guys. I speak from experience. So in 2014, a younger and perhaps better-looking version of myself went on the show and we turned down the offer. Why is that? We felt strongly that we were worth more than what we were valued at on the present day but more importantly we felt like we would increase our equity way more than what was worth giving today over time meaning that if they invested today they would have a huge chunk of our company down the road and that would mean a lot less equity for our team the same concept applies for the first time home buyers incentive program the government will finance up to 10 percent equity stake in your home now let's examine exactly how this works. It's firstly only for first time home buyers. So you need to put down at least 5% of your own money on this down payment, but also you can't actually put in more than 20%. Your household income has to be $120,000 or below. And also if you combine your mortgage total with the government incentive contribution, Combined, this cannot exceed four times your household income. So what this means is that your overall home value cannot exceed about half a million dollars, which of course limits you if you wanna be in a very urban center, especially in Vancouver or Toronto. You need to repay your loan either when you sell your house or in 25 years, whichever one comes sooner. So if you borrowed 5% or 10% from the government, whatever your house is worth the day that uh, this is triggered, you need to give that to the government. So, is this worth it for you? Ah! So you need to weigh out the facts. If you do take this incentive, there is of course the amount of monthly mortgage payments you're gonna save, but there's also the reality that your home is gonna go up in equity, usually, over time so you have to really balance these two out before you make an informed decision the government says you're going to save about 286 dollars a month from this incentive now if you take appreciation on a house three percent a year you'll still see that after 25 years you've saved more money by keeping your home equity and not taking the program so it really depends what your risk tolerance is and how much house prices are going to be going up in your local market. So your next step is to see if your unique situation and of course your risk tolerance levels make sense of this incentive. So what you gotta do is you have to crunch the numbers, hopefully if you're a mortgage broker, and then you have to assess again, will the monthly savings that I get from this incentive program outweigh the potential savings I will have if my house in my specific market appreciates at the projected level that you think is gonna happen. Friends, that's it for today. If you have any questions, opinions, or yes, even cheeky comments, leave them below. As always, friends, make sure you're subscribed, ensure that you are alerted for the next video, and if you or a friend are in the market for mortgage financing, especially as a first time home buyer, please pass this video on to them, and I'll see you next time. Adios, amigos.